Hey you guys, this is Griffo to Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to do a green screen in Minecraft. So, first you're going to need some type of video recording software, such as Fraps, which is, you can um, download a free trial at, like, Fraps.com. So, once you get that, you're going to need um, the texture pack I provide, which will be down below in the description. So, once you download that, stick it to your textures pack folder. Let me go and switch that real quick. Yeah, that's what it'll look like. So, basically, what it does is it makes the glowstone block um, bright green, hence the name green screen. Um, the reason why you you would want to use the glowstone block is because it's very bright, so it maintains the same kind of consistency of that bright green, which is what you need. Because if it's like like if one corner is lighter than like this corner, then it won't walk, but glowstone makes it so it's all equal. Um, so this right here is basically what you're going to be doing, but in the example I showed in the intro, I created this little um, fetal over here. Or, uh, this certificate ticket off. Um, so yeah, basically once you have your screen kind of set up like this, let me move that all out of the way. Once you have it set up like in a box like this, stand somewhere in the center of it, like right here. Use this as the center, and then we'll hit F1 to do this to disable the HUD, and then just sit here for like 30 seconds, completely still, and then after that 30 seconds or however, or however long you need it to be, just end recording, and then that's pretty much it for in-game. Now we need to go out game to a video editing software such as Sony Vegas or After Effects. I'm going to use Sony Vegas because it's simpler but it's better to use After Effects because you can make it more um, it, it looks a lot better in After Effects but we'll use Sony Vegas. So I'll sync back up in that. Alright now that you've loaded up Sony Vegas um, right click and click uh, insert video track Insert audio track. Now go to wherever you saved your um, your clips from the game. I saved mine on my desktop. And it's just clip one and clip two. And these are the exact clips I used in the intro, and this is exactly how I would edit it. So just showing these up. No, I don't. I, I don't really need that one. We'll just work with this one because it's already nice and centered throughout the whole thing. So then insert another video track, but make sure this one is moved up. We don't need this audio, but we'll just delete the audio track. Now this is our second video track, so load up whatever you're trying to display in that screen area. Whatever video clip, I'm just going to use a video of my cat. Stick it below that. Close that out. Uh, make this the same length. A little bit short. How about that? Now then, right here, click this event FX. Once this pops up, click Sony Chroma Key. Click OK. Then move this back over here. Then for the color, click the color bar right there. Click this little pen. Then click that. Now since you see the clip has already started to display behind that, but you have this kind of foggy outline of the other one, just move this up all the way, or adjust it however you need it to make sure it's not like that, but generally right up here on the corner we'll fix that. And just close that. Now just kind of center this clip a little bit more. We're going to use this event pan. And I think we, yeah, zoom it out a bit. Escape, and then let's just do a quick land preview. Then, as you can see, it's now displaying my my cat watching a fish tank behind that where the uh, green screen was. And so that's pretty much all you have to do. Then, just when it comes to rendering, 
just hit file render as video that's good and then whatever you want to call it and then just hit render and then it'll be done and then that's it um, if you have any questions or found it helpful just subscribe and we'll try to get back to you thanks for watching